Where's the bear? Whose blonde life is it anyway? In association with Sterling Creations and VIP Tech Productions present Ask Donna. Donna Jodden answers your questions and offers you tips and tricks on being an author, an expert, a sight loss coach, and an advocate. Good morning, everybody. I'm Donna J. Jodhan, your host for the Ask Donna Show. And welcome to the third week of March. I'm very happy and pleased to be with you one more time. And I'd like to thank my dear friend, Victor Guvia, for giving me this opportunity to be with you. And I'd like to thank all my listeners for continuing to support me, to encourage me, and to provide me with feedback, uh, comments, suggestions, and everything else, your thoughts. And I want to let you know that so far I've had very good uh, response to uh, my promotional offer. But I have to apologize to you in that I made a huge, huge, huge error in when I said that I was making an offer to my listeners for a uh, $25 offer. If you wanted me to share your information about anything, anyone, about yourself on two of my monthly shows, one at Ask Donna and one at Dining with Donna. My apologies, my apologies, my apologies. It is not $25, it is $5. So I will talk about this at the end of this show one more time, but I will um, talk about it now. And what I would tell you is that for the price of $5, you can share your information with me and I will share it with other listeners on my shows. I'm giving you the opportunity or offering you the opportunity to appear on two of my shows. One, sorry, it could either be two Ask Donna shows for the month or two Dining with Donna shows for the month. And you can tell me which of the two shows you'd like to be on. So you could either be on two of the Ask Donna shows or two of the Dining with Donna shows. Okay? I hope I've made myself very clear <clears throat> and I apologize if it isn't clear. If you would like to know more, please write to me at askdonnaonblindlife at gmail.com That's askdonnaonblindlife at gmail.com And I'll let you know how you can take advantage of this great offer to promote yourself. For the very affordable price of $5 monthly, and all you need to do is make payment to me at paypal at donnajodhan.com. That is paypal, P-A-Y-P-A-L, at donnajodhan.com. All right. It is time for us to get down to business, and I noticed thus far that March is sort of behaving itself, but on the other hand, I don't trust March all the time, simply because you never know if we're going to have a storm or if we're going to have an early spring. Right, so for this week, it's my show is going to be Ask the Homemaker. And I have been receiving some really great feedback on this segment um, in that there are some really interesting tips that I'm sharing with you as to how you can use various things to do lots of different things, okay? If I'm confusing you, for this week, we're going to talk about some very healthy substitutes for mayonnaise. And we know that most North Americans 
use a lot of mayonnaise on their sandwiches, in their salads, everywhere else. And so I'd like to provide you with some healthy substitutes for mayonnaise. Okay? But before I go into these healthy substitutes, let me just remind you to stay tuned at the end of my show for my mental stretch and for my Donna's virtual bento basket. All right? So let's get down to work, folks. And let's see here. We have some healthy substitutes for our good old friend mayonnaise. Okay. Well, you can substitute low-fat Greek yogurt for mayonnaise. And you can do this when you're using, you know, mayonnaise. If you're using mayonnaise in your salad, right? You can substitute low-fat Greek yogurt. Or, you know, if you're using it in your potato salad, you can also substitute low-fat Greek yogurt. Okay? I've done this several times and I, I quite like it. I, I want to cut down on my calories. I want to cut down on, on mayonnaise. And I use low-fat Greek yogurt. Okay? You can also use olive oil as a substitute for mayonnaise. Again, you could use olive oil on your salads. And you know sometimes when you mash potatoes and you want to use mayonnaise, substitute olive oil for your mayonnaise. It tastes really good. Again, I've tried it and I quite like it. Three, my third tip, is you can substitute hummus for mayonnaise. Okay? Hummus. Yeah, you can put hummus as a spread on your sandwiches instead of mayonnaise. And hummus tastes really good and it's very healthy for you. It's lower in calories than is mayonnaise. Try it. Give it a try. You can also substitute mustard instead of mayonnaise use mustard again on your sandwiches and this may sound a bit um, out of the way but you can also use mustard in your potato salad um, you could use it when mashing potatoes you can use it as a spread really instead of mayonnaise use mustard okay low fat cottage cheese is another substitute for mayonnaise yeah a lot of people don't really like low-fat cottage cheese. It takes a bit of getting used to, but I like it. I, I think it's really great. And it's again, again, it's another substitute for mayonnaise. The sixth tip that I have for you is mashed avocado. I love mashed avocado and I often use it in my salads. When I'm making a salad, I resist the temptation to use mayonnaise and I use mashed avocado. I also use mashed avocado as a spread on my sandwiches instead of mayonnaise. Give this one a try. You'd be pleasantly surprised to see um, how great it tastes. Okay? Pesto is another thing you can use, okay? It's a different flavor from mayonnaise, but try it. Try it on your different things, you know, on sandwiches, potato salads, salads as a whole. Um, you know, if you're using mayonnaise to create different sauces, you can try pesto instead of mayonnaise. It does cut down on the calories, trust me. How about almond butter? Now, this is a kind of a different suggestion for you, but almond butter, once you get used to the taste, it isn't bad, you know. Yeah, you can, you can use almond butter again as a spread on your sandwiches and in your salads. Now, you're probably saying, you know, I keep saying salads and sandwiches, salads and sandwiches, but truth be told, a lot of people use mayonnaise on their salads or in their salads or as part of a spread mixture 
on their sandwiches. So that's why I keep saying sandwiches and salads. Another thing you can use um, pesto for, any of the things that I have mentioned before, you know when you're stuffing eggs or deviled eggs? You can use any of these of the above that I have mentioned to you in place of mayonnaise, okay? All right. How about, there's something called mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is something, it's an alternative for mayonnaise, except that mayonnaise is spelled with an N instead of an M, okay? Try any of these nine tips that I have given you, useful substitutes for mayonnaise, and see how you feel about it, okay? I think you're going to like some of these suggestions because I've tried almost all of these and I find it really works. So give it a go and see what you think. And, you know, send me your feedback to Ask Donna on blindlife at gmail.com. Tell me how you feel. Ask Donna on blindlife at gmail.com. And see how, you know, let me know how you're doing with these tips. Tell me what you think. Maybe you have other tips as well. And like I said, if you send me information that you'd like to share with others on either of my two shows, my Ask Donna show or my Dining with Donna show, for the very affordable price of $5, you will have the choice of having me Share your information about yourself, about anyone else, about anything. I will acknowledge you, your name, and uh, we go from there. And you would send your payment to me at paypal at donnajohnhen.com. It's all in the show notes for every show for the Ask Donna shows on, you know, monthly. And Take advantage of it. I really want or I really believe that reaching out goes both ways. It all has to do with me reaching out to you and you reaching out to me. And together we get to build a bigger and better show. So for the Ask the Homemaker uh, show, which is the third week of March, please folks, give my tips a try and Give some consideration to my offer, $5, to appear on two of my monthly shows. It could be either two of the Ask Donna shows, two of the Dining with Donna shows, or one of each. You tell me, and you send your entry or your submission to me at askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. When I have confirmed receipt, I will then ask you to submit payment to me at paypal at donnajohnhen.com and after you've done that, I would be pleased and delighted to share your information on two of my monthly shows. Okay? Hey, just think of it. You have eight shows to choose from on a monthly basis. So you can decide which one you want and we go from there. Okay? All right, folks. So now you are going to hear some tips from me on my mental stretch. Okay? All right. If you want to know more about you know, these Ask Donna shows before I go to the mental stretch. You can go to www.donnajodhen.com slash number sign news. Again, Donna Jodhen, www.donnajodhen.com slash number sign news. Okay? Or visit my site loss coach page at Donna Jodhen or www.donnajohnhen.com Okay? So, are you ready for my mental stretch for this week? My mental stretch 
is based on the MIC principle. It's all about clearing the mind and the imagination of cobwebs and clutter. And you use a different sense each time you engage in my mental stretch. It could be the sense of hearing, the sense of smell, the sense of taste, the sense of touch. It could be a combination of any of these plus the sense of sight. Okay? I've been using this theory or this strategy that I developed. It's all of my own strategy. I developed about 20 years ago. And I finally decided about a year ago to share this on my Ask Donna shows. So I really, really hope that, you know, it is beneficial because, you know, if you think about it, you have stretches for your arms, your legs, your knees, your neck, your back, your head. <clears throat> so why not the mental stretch? <clears throat> we have to take care of our mental psyche. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So let's dive into our mental stretch for this week. Okay. The sense of taste for this week. How about the sense of taste when you are enjoying tea, biscuits and scones? Bite deeply into any of these and taste the ingredients. Savor it on your tongue. And think of how the sense of taste can be used to clear your minds and your imaginations of clutter and cobwebs. I've used the sense of taste and I use it all the time. I love tea biscuits, especially when they're loaded with currants and raisins and other bits of dried fruit, you know, mixed peel or different things like that. Give it a try. Trust me, you'd see how quickly your minds and imaginations begin to discard all those unwanted cobwebs and the clutter. And then you start to spark and stimulate your creative juices. Give it a whirl. How about an ice cream cone? Maybe a bit cool right now for something like that, but a yummy ice cream cone? A yummy ice cream cone? Mm -mm -mm. Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, Neapolitan, Tripolitan? Try it, a nice ice cream cone. Tickles the tongue, doesn't it? And for my third suggestion for using the sense of taste, sparkling wine. A nice glass of sparkling wine will surely tickle your taste, tickle the palate. Help to clear the mind and the imagination of clutter and cobwebs and to start sparking and stimulating your creative juices. <clears throat> I'm sorry, folks. I have a frog in my throat, so I'm just trying to clear it. Okay. If you'd like to know more about my mental stretch, please do so by sending me an email to askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. That's askdonna on blindlife at gmail.com. Right, now I'm going to end my show with my virtual bento basket. How about a basket with some favorites from mom? What do you think mom would love to get? Hmm, well, this is what I think my mom would like to get. She loves crossword puzzle books. So I'm going to put one or two in the basket for her. And I'm going to put in, she loves comfy food. So I'm going to put in some nice hot chicken lasagna from mom. I'm going to send her a nice container of lasagna. So while she's reading or working on her books, she can also scrunch on her lasagna. Some carrot sticks for mom as well. Some celery sticks for mom as well. How about a nice salad? 
my Caesar salad with nice and yummy Caesar dressing for her. I know, I know, you're probably going to say, well, you know, you were just telling us that we should cut down on our mayonnaise. Well, you know, it's for mom, so why not a nice Caesar salad for mom? Or some fruits, some grapes, some apples, and some pears for mom. Okay, just a simple pinto basket for mom for this week. So we've got our fruits, pears, apples, and grapes. A nice little Caesar salad. Um, we've got her books, her crossword puzzle books, and some comfy food for mum, some lasagna, chicken lasagna, I think she'd like that. Okay. Right, folks, this is it for me for this week. I want to thank everyone for having dropped in to listen to me and for providing me with your suggestions, your comments, your thoughts, everything. Please give consideration to my $5 offer. You can share your information with us and you will I will read your information on two of my monthly shows. Two out of eight of my monthly shows. It could be your choice, where you want to appear, either on Dining with Donna or Ask Donna. So it could be two Ask Donna shows or two Dining with Donna shows or one Ask Donna show and one Dining with Donna show. Okay? Give some thought to this and let's go from there. Good old folks, thank you very, very much for dropping in this week. Thank you, Victor. And you guys stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now. You can listen to Ask Donna every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern. 8 a.m. Pacific on Whose Blind Life Is It Anyway?